Hey guys, if you're a Cambridge, Excel or any other boards teacher and you prepare your students for their IGCSEs or A-Levels exams, then you must be spending a considerable amount of time making or collecting worksheets from the past papers. So I teach Cambridge O-Levels and IGCSEs and A-Levels mathematics. So today I'll be sharing with you some tricks of the trade that I've learned over the past seven years to make past papers worksheet for my students as quickly as possible. So the first step is that you need to have all the past papers downloaded with you, of course. So if you're already a teacher, you must have them stored in a folder somewhere in your computer. So I used this school support hub website and if you're a Cambridge teacher as well, you must have access to it and it's the most reliable way to download the past papers or you could use any websites. There are many websites that host these papers for free. Okay, so I have my IGCSE math folder open over here and as you can see, I've downloaded all the papers for the from 2010 to 2020 so like I said step one have all the papers downloaded with you step two is the most important step you can see paper twos and paper fours here right so what I'll do next is that I'll use some online tool to merge all the papers twos together in one file and then all the papers four merged in one single PDF file I, I, I like to use ilovepdf.com to merge all my files although there are many tools available online but this one is free and it's easy to use so I like to stick to this so use this and merge all the like in my case I will merge all the p2s together in one file and all the p4s together in one file so my step 2 is done merge all the past papers together in single pdf file So now I have my merged paper 2 and merged paper 4 ready for me. So let's say I want to make a worksheet from P4 related to cumulative frequency. So I'm going to launch this. And so in the search bar, I will just enter cumulative. And it's going to show me the first question on cumulative frequency so this one is from uh, May June 20 paper 41 and then similarly I'll keep on clicking cumulative I'll keep on, keep on hitting next and it'll keep on showing me all the questions on cumulative frequency in all the papers so if you're in a rush you could always use the snipping tool and cut paste these questions in your word files or if you uh, like to go in detail so you could always copy paste them in your worksheets obviously that would take a lot more time than cutting pasting so depends on the time available with you and your preference and another thing I like to do in the end after copying each question I like to copy the paper number which is usually here I copy this whole thing and then the question number with it sorry that was my son so what I do in the end is that I copy paste this code and then the question number right underneath that particular question so that when I'm done making the whole worksheet I open the marking scheme and copy the answer for this particular papers question number nine so this is the quickest way I've come across to make my worksheets for my class so I really hope this was helpful and another thing since I've already merged all the math papers for IGCSC Cambridge and A-Levels and O-Levels so I would just link them in the description and if you're a math teacher of these subjects please feel free to download and use them. I really hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time.